Hello everyone, this is Xenon and Zimir, and welcome back to more Let's Play Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst. Now we're in the pose game and... Right, this area is really, really very long to load. Now we've only got side quests we can do in this port. Point. However, we can access them at any time. And there's only two that we're going to be doing in this last play. I wish this wouldn't take so long to do though. There we go. Mount Maribuko. We want to do Chakra Fragments and... And we want to try and get this frog, this frog statue to as high as we can. Now with all these chakra fragments, the stone frog statue will give us, will change colour, where once we get to a certain mount. I'll probably be doing this off screen, but hey. We'll go into the next quest and probably the next part I'll be showing this. Right, these aren't as quick as... I keep forgetting how slow it is. Bass Transportation Ninja with the one with the blue icon on, head, on, on their head. Want to collect every chakra, chakra, frag, chakra fragment that we can find. Oh. Oh. We won't be doing that. Sorry. I thought it was another one where I was like, oh, oh, I just arrived. This is not good. I was trying to trying to make sure I could avoid that. And then we go this way. We will go right for the training ground. Because we need to go to... Yes, this is the training ground. Now, hopefully he is here. No, he's not. This is a good place to gather track fragments though. So we can try and use this to gather track fragments, leave and exit. There is a better place, but honestly... Okay. And then it gives us a new goal, I believe. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, we've got. We literally have to go back. Oof. I guess you can see at least a little bit of what what we've got to do. Yeah, no, it does not add. I believe after the first showing it should allow us just to continue collecting. <sighs> trying to think how if there's anything I missed for trying to get him to appear. Well actually I might as well just tell you. 
At some point, Kakashi will appear there. I don't know if there's a prerequisite for it, but I am trying. But his quest is kind of important. It may actually have to do with the interval timeline, actually. Quest, timeline quest. So that's the case, then. Ooh. Sorry if I'm sounding like I'm mumbling. I'm slightly just talking to myself, which is not good. Wait, is this a Zuma? Yeah, might as well just do this, just... And this is your, one of your rewards. Update to 5,000. We want to make sure it gets to that before we talk to him again. It'll save some time. Even though it will transform multiple times by then, before then. If for what we're doing, we're just needing to get to 5,000. Which means I probably should have just stayed near there. See, I have to do start this quest up. If it is, then oof. No, oh, Shikaku. Keep. I'm. I've been playing a little bit of Road to Boruto <laughs> before people ask. I believe. In certain maps, there will be now scrolls about. Yeah. If we collect those, those will help the Ninja World timeline. I'm not going to collect them because they're not important overall. I have got them all collected in my personal one, so you'll get to see what it fully looks like. So I'm nice enough to at least do that. But there's only one piece of the timeline that we need. No, sorry, sorry, but we need to get going. He's not here. Stone's changed, and we'll continue to show him now, but we're not going to. We're going to leave and come back. Hopefully, we'll just click view and then come back. Still no. Right, they don't just immediately come back. Now let's come back. So I believe. Yeah, now the leaves have come back, I believe. Yep. All this has come back. Now I wonder why 
Kakashi isn't here. I was hoping he would be. Before anyone says anything, by the time you comment, I'll probably have remembered what I had to do to make Kakashi appear. So don't worry. Worry about replying if this video does not show Kakashi and the quest I'm trying to get to up here. Okay, no, we don't, we don't have as much as I thought. Whoops. Ignore me. If this ends up being the trigger, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> this is probably going to be the most boring episode because I'm just collecting chakra fragments over and over and over just because I can't get Kakashi to spawn. When I was intending for this to have two fights and then all the chakra collecting will be done off screen. Unless it has to... I don't think it has to be. Change colour again. Now we're going to ignore that because we're not going to show him until we get all the colours. But as you can see it's not that bad. There is a better way to do this. Because there's a certain area where there's a lot of chakra fragments. And you just basically go through that the area a few times and then just come back. Let's see how much. And that's just how much we get just from walking backwards over and over, so. Still not appearing.
600. In the open area, we can actually grind chakra fragments in. We'll get another change before we get to the end of the episode. Yay! All because Kakashi won't spawn. Of course, if I can't get Kakashi to spawn before... Uh, I get all the fragments. I will... Probably just, uh, do the what's you have to do for five thousand. <sighs> yeah, by the time this episode's done, I'm not gonna see Kakashi, am I? Well, might get to see some of the colors. Run over here. I might as well just start signing off here and then just doing the grinding now. Grinding. Since I'm almost done, it might as well leave. Since Kakashi's not appearing, might as well leave that for another episode. Huh. Uh. So, next time on Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst, we will probably be seeing the fragment arc of this game before we see the first of the one of the first big things of the Full Burst content. This is Ino Nazuma, signing out.